Hello friends, if you follow science, then you must know that in the world of science, nothing is confirmed as true until we have a solid scientific proof of it. Scientists work very hard in their discoveries and to prove their hard work for many years, they do various experiments. But do you know that in the famous history of science, many such strange experiments have been done which were unethical from the point of view of social civilization and humanity, but still scientists carried it out. These are those strange experiments which you can call horrific and it did not take much time for the government to stop these experiments. You may also call the scientists doing these experiments as mad scientists, but you will definitely get some new information from the discoveries made by them. And this is the purpose of my video today. So without wasting time, let's start. First of all, let's talk about a shocking experiment of 1907 in which a scientist named Dr. Duncan McDougall tried to calculate the weight of the soul. It sounds very strange. To carry it out, he chose six patients who were going to die soon. Before their death, they were made to lay on a weighing scale and their weight was measured so that it could be compared with the weight after death. You all know that it is believed in religious texts that after death the soul leaves the body. He wanted to measure the weight of this soul. He carried out his experiment on all the people one by one. The weight of the first patient decreased by 21 grams. The weight of the second patient decreased immediately after death, but after a few seconds his weight became the same as before. The weight of the other two patients also decreased, but after a few minutes their weight increased more than before. One patient died while setting up the equipment, so his weight could not be measured and finally, after weighing the last patient after his death, it was found that there was no change in his weight but after one minute his weight decreased by about 28 grams. In this experiment, because of the difference in everyone's weight, it did not prove that there is something like a soul. Otherwise, the difference in weight would have been the same every time. But this did not happen and its scientific explanation was that the reduction in weight of all is due to the changes in the body after death, such as blood clotting, last breath coming out of the lungs, gas produced by chemical reaction leaving the body, after the results of this experiment reached the government, the government banned it because it violates human rights and due to this, till date it is illegal to do such experiments. Another such strange experiment was done in 1934, in which an attempt was made to revive a dead person. This experiment was done in America by Dr. Robert E. Kordnesh. He believed that if the blood flow in a dead body can be restarted somehow, then that dead body can be revived because when death occurs, the blood flow stops. For this experiment, he selected some dead patients and injected a chemical called adrenaline in their body so that the blood can be thinned, so that blood flow can be brought back in the body quickly. After this, they would lay the dead body on a big bed that looked like a cot and shake it up and down vigorously so that the blood circulation could start again. But none of the dead could come back to life. Then they tried this experiment on dogs and surprisingly, out of the five dogs brought for the experiment, two dogs could come back to life, but three dogs could not. After the success achieved in this experiment, they wanted to expand it further. But the US government banned such experiments because it was considered that doing any experiment on a dead person is unethical from the point of view of civilization. But a few years after this, in 1940, a similar experiment was conducted in Russia where scientists tried to keep a dog's head alive. Just like the experiment done in America, in this experiment, the head of a dog, the part from the neck to the brain, was separated from the body and to make it alive, pure blood was supplied to its veins with the help of a machine called autojector. When the blood flow resumed, the dog started to show some movements like the ears moving due to sound, the eyelids blinking due to bright light and licking its nose with the tongue. Such movements are called responses to stimuli in science, and this was exactly that. You will find the real footage of this experiment by searching on YouTube. But this is quite horrifying. Such experiments were also banned because it was considered animal abuse and a crime. But that's not all. According to civilization, life and death are the laws of nature. Trying to revive a dead person means tampering with the laws of nature. Therefore, in today's modern times, such experiments are considered unethical. After this, in 1963, a scientist named Stanley Milgram wanted to measure the willingness of humans to obey the orders of their boss or higher officials. He wanted to know how his colleagues, on Hitler's orders, ruthlessly tortured people in concentration camps for many years. This experiment was a psychological experiment. 
In this, basically two people were kept in two rooms, one of whom was a teacher and the other a learner. The room was such that both of them could hear each other but could not see. In the experiment, the teacher had to ask some questions to the learner, and for every wrong answer, he was given an electric shock. After this experiment, it was found that a person obeys an officer so that he is not treated cruelly. This cruel behavior really has an impact. People, out of fear of the officers, agree to do even those things which they themselves do not want to do. Due to the cruelty in this experiment, people protested a lot and were asked to stop such experiments. This kind of experiment was also declared unethical and such experiments were never conducted again. But before this, during World War II, when Hitler was being terrorized, many painful experiments of a Nazi scientist Joseph Mengele came to light. Thousands of experiments were being done during World War II, and the purpose of all these was to get help for the soldiers of Hitler's army through medicines and treatment. And the leader of all these was Joseph Mengele, who was also called the Angel of Death. Whenever new prisoners were brought to Dr. Mengele, he would eagerly look at everyone to see if a twin child would come this time. He was crazy about twins. Often he would stitch two twins together with their skin, their blood vessels, and even organs so that they could become CME's twins. Such twins who have joined together since childhood. But these innocent children often got a disease called gangrene and died a very painful death. Joseph used to do many more experiments like putting people in pressure chambers, freezing them in ice, doing castration, removing internal organs from the body, and changing the sexes. Just hearing about all these experiments makes one's senses go away. But all these experiments done by scientists are illegal in today's era of democracy. Committing such scientific crimes can lead to life imprisonment and even the death penalty. So friends, these were the five most gruesome and unethical experiments till date. Which of these did you find the most cruel and gruesome? Don't forget to comment, we would like to know. If you like this video, then do not forget to like and share it, and for such science videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, and I will meet you in the next video. Till then keep watching and keep learning.